Yo, what is up everybody? It's the side Welcome to another video. Fan favorite Jesse. You got a spicy deck profile for us today. New yes. format. What, what do you got? We've got, uh, oh, these are dragon links. This is thunder dragons actually. Oh man, uh, a different type of dragon. Yeah. Nice. Dude, that's broken. Can't wait to see the profile. All right. So, uh, I'm playing a 44 card list. If anybody ever tells you to play some sort of 60 chaos pile, I, I want you to remind them that they go next to it locals all the time. So, <laughs> so we're gonna start. <laughs> we're gonna start with the three Thunder Dragons. Um, unironically, not the worst card in the deck because just normal summon over it with this or with this, and then you just use the other ones that you've already searched with to just make a free Colossus. Like Gold Format called, they want their Thunder Dragon. Yeah, they back. do want their Thunder Dragons back. Um, then we've got our three Thunder Dragon. Dark, I've been okay. breaking on this all day, um, but this is still good. Like, if your opponent's going first, you just discard this during end phase so you've got something in your grave live. And then, uh, obviously, you're just thinning out the deck, too, so you're just pulling less bad cards. Yes. Uh, you know, shout out to team bad cards. Um, <laughs> then two of the roar. Two really? Is, Only yeah, two roar? Okay. Two's enough. Um, like I said, Part of your conundrum is just getting these guys engraved to get banished. Yes. Or getting them on field somehow. Yeah, yeah. So two for Roar is definitely good. Um, okay. Is, he's been crazy all day, though, just putting himself, putting other dudes on, on field, and just grabbing stuff back, like turn two, turn three, for like extra Thunder Dragon Hawk summons. So speaking of which, only the one Hawk. Yeah. Uh, I've opened this card, actually, a nutty amount of times <laughs> today to the point where it was just like, under droll, that's crazy. I already got. Yeah, it anyway. I, I feel like that's better. Like so when you open it. <laughs> that was a nice droll. How about droll on legs in the form of Colossus? So yes, that's the Thunder Dragon lineup himself in the main deck. Uh, yeah. To supplement this, I've got five normal summons. It's gonna be our battery man's. Uh, this little <laughs> dude's pretty cracked. Um, the token summons mandatory, so I have to keep yes. remembering that. But uh, basically, with standard combo, this plus like any Lubellion or Bestial, I guess. Um, you normal summon. Uh, after you make that like first play, you've got four bodies on board. And yes. Then immediately just try to go for an Appaloza. You can't do it with a token. Yeah. So you can go for like a Cross Sheep or a Mascarena. But um, if they try to nib you there, it's fine because you you just leave the Thunder Dragon on field. Yeah, or, you minimum. You don't have to, but yeah. like if they get rid of that, you're still grabbing. You whatever. get classes at minimum. Yeah, so it's still a nice board. Um, and then, of course, I've got two more normal summons. Nice! I really like that. I don't like Aloof Lupine um, at all because that requires you to have two specific cards, uh, one of them being a normal summon that could be Impermed. So Armageddon Knight, um, unassuming... But this is good because if you bring it back with Cross Sheep, it dumps another dark. So that's exactly. awesome. Exactly. So uh, I learned I that. toyed with that uh, yeah, as well. Yeah, but uh, I'm the one who uh, invented that, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. The uh -huh. patent exists out there. You can look it up. <laughs> I'm playing a small chaos package. So <laughs> Levy, obviously. Yeah. Um, honestly, I brick on it a lot, so I cited out sometimes. But then another brick. Uh, and then... Black, white. Uh, yeah, so those are really my only chaos cards. Um, yeah. search off of a chaos base, which you'll see later. Ooh. Um, but spice. they're nice getting presents on board. Um, opening this or getting to chaos base with it, this guarantees you either a seals or it just guarantees you uh, an SP. And honestly, a lot of my boards look like making SP first before I end on the Colossus. Yeah. So, so if they try to chuck rock, obviously. I'm exactly. Saying. You can protect your Colossus yeah. and now they're screwed. Um, then onto our Bestial package, three Lubellion, obviously. Yeah. No introductions needed. Two Sarnir. Yeah. Um, two Druus Worm, because we do want more op we want more ways to banish, uh, just to wow. open with. But okay. two Druus Worm is just so threatening all the yeah. time. Uh, and then one Mag, obviously, and then one Baldrake, just an extra name. Um, on to the spells, or, yeah, on the spells, we've got our three Allure of Darknesses. Shout out yes. to Destiny Soldiers. That was a great set. Don't let anybody tell you differently. <laughs> um... Thriller, obviously opening this in any like Thunder Dragon that isn't Hawk is pretty cool. Yeah. Um otherwise you do your full combo and then just gamble at the end and you know you see if you have a hand afterward. But <laughs> uh, the one chaos base, um the one gold sarcophagus, it's a starter on its own pretty much. Uh just banish the roar. One Thunder Dragon Fusion, that's nice. Turn two, just banish, just get another Thunder back. Um Brandon Regained, called by um, and then Branded Beast is the nice. one technically main deck trap besides like the Imperm. Nice. Because at like pretty much the deck is not crazy like the other ones right now, but what I'm seeing the game plan is and the reason why I opted for like <clears throat> throw hand traps in there, which you'll see right now actually. I opted for hand traps, three Ash, three Imperm, three Nibiru. Um, instead of just going like forbidden in the main and like nothing else, 
Um, you don't want the deck to be that slim because there are just clunky hands where it's like, I do want my normal summons, but I also want other things. It just needs to be like a good mixture that I'm not just drawing into like bricks and stuff. So playing a little bit over 40 is nice. On top of that, you're just slowing your their opponent down. You're slowing your opponent down and you can lock them out of searching and getting their engine online with Colossus as well as you can control the rest of the game states with uh, your Bestial Grind game. So that's the theory behind that anyway, is um, this makes it so that you can't do any turn one crazy combo boards. But again, if you did go for a full gas combo, you're gonna see how well that works when you open a hand just full of like the same Thunder Dragon and no way to like get a Colossus out or anything. Or if you do get a Colossus out, you have what, one Forbidden Droplets to protect it and then that's your end board. It's like, you kind of need to put a little, a little this, is, this is nice. Was not substantial enough in 2020. Yeah, Cypher so, just eats it alive. Yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, shout out to P Cypher for teaching us that. It's a very interesting thing, but like that's the theory behind hand traps. Is I, I would opt for those um, to make your deck just a little bit bigger and then to not make it like full gas. Yeah. Um, but onto the extra deck. Obviously, I've already revealed him, but he's back to one. So reason Yo. to play Thunder Dragons. <laughs> Um, being able to protect himself is also pretty nuts because people try to run it over by battle, people try to break your board, and you're just banishing your Thunder Dragons that already exist, and you're just getting more resources to your hands. It's awesome. This was awesome today for breaking a Labyrinth board because, yes, Thunder Dragon Titan is not once per turn. So yeah. I've just been using Thunder Dragons in hand, and he's been like, that's crazy, let's eat the board. <laughs> Um, those are the only three fusions I play. I don't play Super Poly. I'm considering it, but um, I just like this build better for the extra deck space. So one Striker Dragon. Shout out to Dragon Link. We miss you. One Sphere. Shout out to Dragon Link. This is obviously for your uh, white lines or like black lines where uh, one of those cards just gets you into the spheres. Yeah, right? exactly. So that's nice. And then uh, Cross Sheep. Yes. Um, if you do feel a little risky, you can go for a Cross Sheep play to just extend further. Um Masquerina is great in this deck, so is her girlfriend, SP. Um, on, then we have a Dark, it's pretty obvious. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, because sometimes you do just need to get rid of a third body to go into something a little bit bigger. And then of course this plays very well with the Axis Code Talker. Um, this is a good end board piece. Apollo is obviously in a very heavy link deck. And then Underworld Goddess, you definitely have the ability to put materials on board, as well as there are just things out there that you might want to get rid of as a towers. And to round it all off, oh, Chaos yeah. Angel Typhon. So we'll wrap this up quick. It's going to be a pretty standard uh, side deck. So one Harpies, three Cosmic Cyclone for back row removal, um, three Shifter. The only problem with this is with the way I built the deck, uh, you'll see for the rest of the Earth side deck in a second, but this conflicts with stuff. So uh, I do play Forbidden Droplets in the side deck, but that does not mesh well with this. So yeah. you just, you really have to play around it. Um, as well as like three Droll, obviously you can't mix those two together. Yeah. You can, but you're gambling and you're only using one of them if you open one, or both, realistically. Um, two Talents, and then like I said, three Droplets. This is a great board breaker against uh, Voiceless, or it's just good dismantling boards and putting Thunder Dragons in the grave so that you can banish them. Um, so that's the theory behind that. So you have options for board breaking, but it really is like, okay, if I'm gonna play Shifter, I have to cut down to the Chaos and the Bistials now because there's gonna be nothing to put in grave, so. But obviously, under Shifter, Normal Summoning, Armageddon Knight, or Battery Man Solar feels so great, so. Yes, it really does, that's awesome. But that's the profile. Uh, the deck is performing and we'll see how it goes. Awesome, thank you so much for the deck profile, Jesse. Subscribe for more. Subscribe.